If you can, please download or print out the PDF file on the description below so you can work with me. Before finding a critical path of a network, we need to go through a couple terminology first. Float time is the time that can be delayed without causing any delay to other activities. For example, let's have a look at a section of a network. So to start on activity H, we know that we need to complete activity E and complete activity F. So to complete activity E, we need 9 hours. Assume these activities are in hours. To complete this activity F, we need to complete activity D first. So the time to complete activity F is 8 hours and complete activity D is 4 hours. So therefore, to complete activity D and F, it needs 8 plus 4, which is 12 hours. So the earliest time to start activity H is 12 hours. So therefore, activity E complete in 9 hours. So therefore, if you take 12 minus 9, which is 3 hours. So therefore, activity E have 3 hours spare. So therefore, the float time for activity E is 3 hours. In another word, activity E can start 3 hours later without delaying any other activities. So float time is the latest starting time minus the earliest starting time. So please take note on this. If float time is zero, the activity is critical. So this will help us to find the critical path. Let's identify the critical path for this network below. We have earliest starting time and latest starting time. If you don't know how I get the earliest and latest starting time, please go to the description below and click on the link. It will show you how to find the earliest and the latest starting time. To identify the critical part for a network, we need to identify the float time. And float time must be equal to zero. Float time is equal to latest starting time minus earliest starting time and it must be equal to zero. So therefore, zero minus zero is zero and five minus five is zero. So this activity A is critical. And activity C, 17 minus 17 is zero. So this activity is critical. Then activity F. So to make sure it is activity F, not activity H, to find out the latest starting time, we go 32 minus 8. So 32 minus 8 is 25, not 17. So this is not the path. So the path is this one here. Because 23 minus 6 is 17. So it's actually this path. Activity F, not activity H. Okay, please take note on this. Do not confuse. And then the next path is activity G. So therefore, the critical path of this network is A to C to F and to G. Or you can just write A, C, F, G if you like. So these are the critical path. Please take note, the critical path is to help you to find the shortest time to complete the project. In this case, the shortest time to complete the project is 5 hours plus 12 plus 6 plus 9. So the shortest time is 5 hours plus 12 hours plus 6 hours plus 9 hours. So which equal to 32 hours. So the shortest time to complete this project is 32 hours. 
Please stop the video and try this one yourself. To identify the critical path for this project, so the float time for this is zero and zero, so this path is critical. And the float time for this is two hours, the float time for this is two hours, and the float time for this two hours. So therefore, the next critical path is activity G. So therefore, the critical path for this project is a, G, or you can write A to G. So the search time to complete this project is 10 hours plus 2 hours is 12 hours. Please stop the video and try this one yourself. First of all, the flow time for activity A is 0 and the flow time for this is 0 as well and 0, 0. Then we know that activity A is critical. So it can be activity E or activity D. We're not sure. So therefore, you place, you got to take note on this and you need to work out which activity it is. Okay. Now, 18 minus 9 is equal to 9 doesn't give you 6 so therefore this activity is not critical and 10 minus 4 is 6 so therefore activity D is critical not E and then you know that activity F is critical because 18 minus 8 is 10 so therefore activity F is critical and the last one is of course activity H so therefore the critical path for this project is A to D F and H so this is the critical path for this project thank you so much for watching